All right, welcome back, guys. Um, we're gonna do a quick video on a little project. Well, it wasn't a little project, a little, but a little project. <laughs> <laughs> a project that my wife has has finally finished after what? Going on three months. <gasps> well, I mean, I didn't paint three months straight or no, anything no. crazy like that. But yes, it was a long project. How many hours? I, over 100, easily over 100. That being said, I'm not the world's fastest painter. I'm very picky too, which, yeah. you know, probably doesn't help or does, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, it was a long, it was a long process. <laughs> so long you, process. you actually got up early this morning. I did. And then powered through probably seven hours. Seven of painting hours of painting, yeah. To finish it off. Yeah, so. um, I hit a lull I had planned on having it done uh, probably four or five days ago and I hit a big lull where I just couldn't work on it anymore and there was one part that was giving me a problem and I just, I, I couldn't feel it and so I shoved myself into painting it one night and then after that I one think paint I night, shoved you it did, anyway. you yeah. did, yeah. after that one paint night it just made all the difference in the world and I just the next two days i hammered probably through you 14 hours in the last two days yeah but before that yeah. you probably hadn't touched it in like a week a week yeah least. yeah because yeah. you had you know you have your good days and your bad days and everything exactly and you had a bad day and, <laughs> and then lost and then i couldn't do it anymore yep. so yeah you'll notice well i don't know maybe not too many people will notice but it's a little stretched out compared yeah. to the original box art of super metroid and that was done intentionally. Yes, because this is going to cover that yeah. in the back. It's going to be a cover for my dartboard case. Yep. So it's more game-related theme. Well, when we initially wanted to put something up there, we were like, oh, we'd be taking down the dartboard case. But with everything else, um, our Super Mario 3 covers our... Uh, Electrical panel. Electrical panel. Yeah. So I was just like retrofitted to go over the dartboard. Yeah. And we were lucky that... Width wise, it was the perfect dimensions almost yep. bang on, but I measured height it wise, five minutes ago and I don't remember what they were. Do you? Nope. <laughs> well, let me grab my measuring tape. Yeah. I think it was 40 by 33. It's something like that. Well, let's do that. 40 inches. You're probably right. Yeah, we'll see. By 33 inches by 7 inches thick. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, it took it took a while to do. It turned out better than I even imagined it could. Turn I'm happy. Out. It looks amazing. Another thing you guys will notice from I'll grab the box or, or here's the here's the picture she was working off of for the last 3 months. As you can tell, it's a little ratty looking here. So, yeah. <laughs> but you'll see this detail especially there the uh, the leg doesn't go no as far down as this one does and it's because it's stretched out it's, yep. well it's not stretched out this part is proportioned right yes but we had to add a little bit on the top and a little bit on the and bottom so it fit over that case and uh I really convinced you into adding that the extra layer. That was a bone layer, of contention. She, I was like, no, I'll just like shade it out. And <laughs> she wanted to cut it off here like it was on the box. Like I just, I was like, nope, I'm and not I doing it. I talked you out of it. You did. And yeah. I just kept fighting it and fighting it and fighting it. And then I, <laughs> when I stenciled it all on, because we instead, I used to paint by hand just by looking at the picture and putting it on but with something like this it needs to be very precise you, yeah. need, you need to have it on like it needs to be so what we do is um print one to scale which is very pixelated because you're not getting a 33 by 40 inch version no. of this you're getting this version of this stretched out yeah. so it's really pixelated so yeah that's what i did i paint it from this and I just carbon copy paper with the, the printed basically version. Basically the outline. Yeah. 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 Basically did the outline and and yeah, this uh <laughs> it's like mold it to my hand. I, I would paint and I would hold <laughs> it and I would look and I'd paint some more and yeah. What's your I, favorite part? Samus one hundred percent absolutely and the yeah, fire coming out of the gun. Yeah. Because I didn't picture it going as that was 
the part that I was not looking forward to painting the most. This part, because it needed to be very flame-like. And then also these in the background and Samus. Yeah. I was like, I was nervous. I knew Ridley would turn out good, but Samus with so many specific lines, you know what I mean? Those rounded edges. <laughs> yeah. like, that's what nearly broke me was this great big shoulder piece. It just wasn't shading out the way I wanted it to. Yeah. And I must have spent hours on that one piece and had a near mental breakdown. But I got through it and I did. I got so much done today. Oh, it was crazy. I yeah. woke up probably, what, an hour or two after you? Yep. You were already on the floor painting there, huh? Yeah. yeah. I had to do the logo. I had to do the seal today. I had to do the background here. Yep. I had that to do the rocks. gold seal is actually gold paint. It's painted on. That. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. The rocks all had to be done. Yeah. The, uh, the claws had to be done. That had to be shaded. Same thing with these claws. And then touch-ups. And that doesn't sound like seven hours worth of work. But it is. It is when you're painting. It takes forever. So, how about I hang this up on the wall? Yeah. I'm and excited. And you can do some close-ups there for the people. The people... I'm excited to finally excited. have this up on the wall where it should be. Where it should be. Yeah. You can see there's a little spotlight up here. It's a temporary thing right at the moment until we get something more permanent, but uh, it makes the painting pop. It does. And I'm going to add one over here too for Super Mario 3. Yeah. All right. I know this was a quick video and there wasn't a lot of information to <laughs> quick, give you guys. Quick video, but uh, many, many, many hours, many hours of painting. But it just, it's one of the final pieces for this back wall. I'm really excited to have it up. I love that you love it. Oh, I love it. Like I that absolutely just, love it. that made my day. When you, yeah. when you looked at it, when I finally brought it out and I said, it's done. And then I sat it on the floor and you're like, oh, I love it. I was like, ah. Oh, all the hard work was worth it. Yeah. I just want to make you happy, so the fact that you're happy makes me so happy. But yeah. So, before we get into all the close-ups, if everybody likes this, I love it. If you think it's awesome, hit that thumbs up button. Make my wife happy. She loves those <laughs> thumbs up. And then, let's get into some close-up pictures of yeah this, oh and just want to one thing before we go my next project plan is to do a time lapse of Wonder Woman Wonder Woman yeah that one won't nearly be as hard because it's more no. of a, a, a bus kind of like from mid waist up and uh, yeah a much easier painting but be cool nonetheless easier to yeah. time lapse so <laughs> this I couldn't time lapse because it would have been a three-hour video Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks. Let's give you some close-ups. <laughs>